All right. Welcome back, everybody, to Altcoin Daily. Great to have you here. I'm very happy with this video I'm doing today. I think you guys are really going to like it. I'm doing a deep dive on Stellar Lumen. By the end of this video, you guys are going to know exactly what Stellar Lumen is, how it was created, its original intent, what is the primary function of Stellar Lumen, and also why I am bullish on Stellar Lumen. Uh, we'll be getting into all that today. And um, good news, as I'm sure you noticed by now, my audio problems are fixed. Um, if you watched the last few videos, which you should have, great content. Uh, you notice I had some slight audio problems, and hopefully, I'll check at the end, but I fixed the issues and it's all good. So anyway, let's get into it. Uh, Stellar Lumens. It is, um, as I'm sure even if you don't know anything about Stellar Lumens, you've at least heard of it peripherally, because Stellar Lumens is the eighth uh, most valuable, as far as coin market cap goes, the eighth most valuable cryptocurrency. Um, and what does that mean? Well, generally cryptocurrencies that are high cap, like top 10 or top 20, they have less of a risk, but, uh, and also less of a reward. Um, of course, you know, that doesn't mean that could take that with a grain of salt. Um, you can t go to snap snapshots of the market back five years ago. A lot of top 10 cryptocurrencies are way, way down now. Anyways, I do think Stellar, Stellar Lumen has a lot of good things going for it, and uh, I do think it's going to be around for the next several years. So let's get into why. Okay, so what is Stellar Lumen? Got my got my notes right here. Okay, what is Stellar Lumen? Well, Stellar is a it's an open source decentralized network for exchanging money and other assets. So how did it start? Well, Stellar started all the way back in 2011 when programmer Jed McCaleb and a few other guys were developing Ripple. We all know of Ripple. It's a also a high cap uh, cryptocurrency that's uh, centralized and controlled by the banks. But anyways, what Ripple was aiming to do back in the day, along with this programmer, Jed, Jed McCaleb, Ripple was trying to solve two problems that they saw with Bitcoin. Number one, they were trying to solve the transaction speed issues that Bitcoin was having. And number two, they wanted to develop a cryptocurrency that could work with the banks uh, to provide blockchain solutions for the banks. However, the developer, McCaleb, had issues with the bank part of uh, Ripple's goals. And he thought, hey, isn't the whole point of blockchain to be decentralized? Um, and McCaleb left Ripple and used the Ripple protocol to create Stellar, a coin for the people, as he said, where Ripple is for the banks, Stellar is for the people. So to sum that up real quick, both Ripple and Stellar Lumen transactions, they take place in seconds. But while Ripple is controlled by the banks, Stellar is operated actually by a nonprofit. And also, uh, Stellar Lumens actually have half the circulating supply that Ripple does, which uh, could be seen as a good thing among investors. But anyway, let's uh, keep going. What is the function of Stellar? Well, not only is it a digital form of money, you know, just like Bitcoin was intended to be, intended to be, but its main function is an efficient currency exchanger. Um, as in, you know, like to be, being able to exchange, let's say, US dollars for euros instantly. So Lumens works as a liaison between people, banks, and the payment system. It brings all of your financial needs and requirements onto a single platform, letting you perform transactions at any time and at any speed. And they like their speed to be fast. So yes, once again, that is the primary function of uh, Stellar Lumens, uh, being able to transfer money in seconds. If I wanted to transfer some money to my friend Greg in Europe, I could just send my fiat currency through the Lumen network, um, the Stellar network. Stellar would automatically convert 
um, my US dollars to Stellar Lumens. They would get sent, they would be, you know, verified in Europe, and though the same Stellar network would be able to um, then automatically convert that amount of lumens um, into uh, euros instantly. And, you know, they would have liquidity so he could easily um, get those euros in his hands. Anyway, also something cool, uh, Stellar users uh, cannot be frozen because McCaleb, that uh, the founder and creator, as I said, McCaleb, he made a point, he made this a point that Stellar users cannot be frozen uh, to after after one million of his own Ripple funds were frozen as he departed the company. And he was like, okay, I don't want this to happen over at uh, Stellar Lumen. And he, you know, he, for all intents and purposes, he made um, Stellar Lumen um, better in his eyes than Ripple. So let's let's hear more about Stellar Lumen. You know, I'm just going to be giving you guys the facts here. <laughs> Wish we had a cool little graphic that... Uh, you know, we could we could rest on. But let me just tell you about this real quick. Lumens are actually a pre-mined currency. And I know a lot of you guys are going, oh, pre-mined currency, that's kind of a turnoff. And I know what you mean, but just, just listen to this information. Lumens are a pre-mined currency, uh, meaning that when the currency initially came out, a set amount of lumens, lumens was already generated. So because it's pre-mined, there are no miners. Um, yet, Lumen still has transaction fees, and the Lumen transaction fees, they don't go to miners. You know, in Bitcoin, transaction fees go to miners uh, to incentivize um, miners to mine, but here, the Lumen transaction fees go to the network, and then the network reimburses the Lumens uh, in an inflationary system, meaning that in order to, if you have Lumen, Lumens, in order to gain more Lumens, besides buying them, uh, you must just, you know, have lumens to begin with. So if I had 20 lumens uh, with the uh, system lumens set up every year, I would get a little bit more lumens. And it's actually the extra lumens or XLM is added to the network at a rate of 1% per year. And um, the transaction fee or base fee, um, it's, it's pretty minute. It's one one millionth of a lumen or XLM and the fee um, a big reason the fee is still present despite the fact that we don't have any miners is it's a security thing um, to protect the system from attacks and spam because attackers and spammers would incur giant fees if they tried to spam spam the whole network so anyways let me take a drink real quick hope my audio is sounding good uh, why I'm bullish on Stellar Lumen. Okay, so uh, Stellar Lumen recently partnered with IBM, which is kind of a big deal. Um, of course, in any cryptocurrency you look at, you know, we hope that all the cryptocurrencies we're invested in and we're rooting for are going to make <coughs> are going to make good partnerships. And if any of them could partner with a big company like I IBM, I mean, that would be great. The the fact that uh, Stellar was able to partner with IBM is a home run for not only Stellar, but also for cryptocurrency in general. And basically, IBM will be using uh, Stellar Lumen to process uh, international payments in which they would be uh, converting back to whatever local currency that the people use and whatever other nation they're in. So they're really using Lumens for the intended purpose, intended purpose of Lumens, and that's great. It's basically, I mean, Lumens is solving a problem, uh, the same problem that Ripple is trying to solve, and the same problem that uh, a few cryptocurrencies are trying to solve, transferring money in seconds with little to no fees. Um, also, why I'm bullish on Stellar Lumen? Yes, they have a working product. Uh, you know, not many cryptocurrencies have a working product at the moment. Doesn't mean it's bad. It just means, you know, they got a, they got, they got a ways to go. Uh, Lumens has a working product. Um, the company, and also the company is already compliant on regulations, uh, which I think is a good thing, as we see, as we saw this year, and we you just know going forward um, that regulations are going to be put in place on cryptocurrency, and Lumens is already compliant on all regulations, um, and they're going to stay compliant. Um, what else can I talk about? 
Hmm. Okay, I wanted to show you guys the roadmap real quick. I mean, it's not like, you know, a cool graphic like we're used to seeing. This is on Stellar's uh, website. Uh, you guys should definitely check it out yourself. But what's on their roadmap? Well, they really only have two things on the roadmap. And you guys can read all about it. I'm just going to briefly sum it up. Goal number one is to um, create a uh, stellar decentralized exchange. So at the end of 2017, we recruited a veteran team team with a substantial track record of product and marketing success to build a front end for Stellar's inherent decentralized exchange, uh, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, they want to um, build a decentralized exchange for, and day one, you'll be able to start trading um, any Stellar lumens. And also, Stellar um, is also a platform in the same way that Ethereum is a platform. Um, so people can create their own tokens on the Stellar platform. And when they when Stellar creates this exchange, you'll be able to um, be able to uh, exchange any um, new tokens created on the Stellar platform and liquidate them. Um, also, they with this exchange, they want cheaper rates, very low trading fees, and and yeah, liquidity. Like I said, so read all about that here at uh, Stellar.org, 2018 Stellar Roadmap. And the number two thing they're working on is staying current with the technology Lightning Network on Stellar. And you can read all about that. But I, what do you say? That's it? That's it? That's all they're doing? That's it. For those of you hoping for splashy partnership announcements, that's not our goal here. Also, at a philosophical level, we believe that applauding our nth partner is less important than ensuring our existing partnerships are successful. We closed 37 partners last year and, hi and highlighted a few, including IBM, Tempo, in our Stellar and the State of Cryptocurrency post from last week. Blah, blah, blah. I think what they said right here, it's a winning attitude in my opinion. Keep your existing partnerships happy. Uh, every successful businessman knows that your existing uh, clients are more important than new clients because that's how, you're gonna, that's how you're making your money and that's how you're gonna continue making your money. If you're a business and if you're a cryptocurrency, you wanna keep your existing partnerships happy. I like that. Uh, right now, wanted to bring Stellar to your attention because first of all, I know a lot of you guys, although the market's still, you know, down from where it was, we don't know if a base is forming yet, um, possibly, but a lot of you guys, I, I've, I've, I've of course brought a lot of mid and low cap coins to your attention, which I think are, which I'm still bullish on, even though they're uh, low cap coins. But some people get scared to invest in low cap coins um, when, the, when the market is down. So S Stellar, is a high cap coin and right now it's hitting at 21 cents um they've seen all-time highs of about almost 90 cents and the last base that they formed was just about where we are right now um you know they formed it a little base base was formed just over 20 cents and right now we're just over 20 cents now we haven't formed a base yet so could stellar get you know lower in the next month or so yeah, it could. I'd put Stellar on your radar, guys. I think Stellar is a great long-term investment. And, you know, it's going to be here. In my, I, I'm just a normal guy. These are just my opinions. But I really think Stellar is going to be here in a few years. Um, and as you know, we don't know if some of these lower caps are going to be here in a few years. I think Stellar is going to be around. So put it on your radar. I think, I think 20 cents is a good price to get Stellar. But could it go less? Because as we know, just, you know, what, four or five months ago, we were just at three cents. You know, maybe wait to see see where it goes. You know, the base below 20 cents was about at 12 cents. So so let's see what happens, guys. Anyways, I hope what you got today was exactly what Stellar is, what it, um, uh, it, it was created for. Um, I know it's similar to Ripple, um, but, but yeah, anyways, maybe you learned something, maybe you didn't. Either way. Um, thank you for watching the video. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a like or a comment that helps me grow as a channel. And also subscribe if you're new to the channel because we bring you daily videos on everything altcoin, everything cryptocurrency. Thank you guys. Peace.